You're watching News 24 Live. I'm joined in studio this afternoon by our resident football analyst, Wade Pretorius, who's going to give us a football wrap and tell us a couple of stories from the wild and wacky world of soccer. Wade, thanks very much for coming in this afternoon. I suppose the big story in the last couple of days is Dean Furman, the Bafana captain, signing with Supersport United. But before we get onto that, how is the local PSL looking after two rounds? I believe Pirates got their first win last night. Yeah, uh, so Pirates overcame the Chili Boys. Uh, a little bit mild and not so spicy performance from the Chili Boys. Pirates eased past them 4-1. Uh, helped, in fact, by Chili Boy uh, getting sent off. One of the, one of the players mm -hmm. got sent off. And uh, Pirates were able to turn on the pressure towards the end of the game and came away with a nice win which will boost them because, you know, they, they've got a bit of a topsy-turvy season going with their CAP Confederation <coughs> CAP uh, activity. So they sort of play out of sync with, mm. with the rest of the league so far. But they'll be, they'll be pleased to, to get onto the PSL scoreboard, as it were. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, Dean Furman, big mm. news there, signing with Matza Tsansa. Yeah. Uh, you were saying off-air that somewhat of a surprising move considering he was looking to play at a sort of higher level abroad. Yeah. So he left Doncaster Rovers at the end of his contract um, at the end of last season and was on trial at Blackburn Rovers. Unfortunately, mm. that didn't pan out. Uh, they have, I think they had too many overseas players in their squad. So Furman, Furman lost out there. They also had a lot of midfielders. Mm. But um, yeah, so it is, it's a bit of a shock because um, he was looking. Yeah. That, and that's why he left Doncaster was to look for this higher league team uh, in England. That was everything that we'd heard coming out of the Furman camp. But it's a great coup for, for Supersport United. Um, Gordon Eggerson's done really well. He's already signed Bongani Kamalo. If you can get him mm. fit and, and ready and back to the form he had a couple of seasons ago, add Furman, they're looking like they could be uh, top PSL contenders this season. So what do you think lured him to the club? Well, I mean, what sort of uh, salary has he been offered, do you know? No, I'm, I'm sure that he'll definitely be right at the high uh, end of, of, the, of the scale, uh, especially at Supersport. Uh, who uh, presumably don't mm. pay as well as Chiefs and Pirates and Sundowns. But I'm sure Furman, he won't be uh, worried about counting his Benjamins at the end of the month. He'll be okay. But yeah, I think what lured him, um, Gordon Eggerson, is the guy that gave him his shot mm. in the national team. Uh, Super Sports, are de they definitely do have quite a few good players. And as I said, they were outsiders for the PSL. But with him, um, they probably are top contenders along with uh, Chiefs and Sundowns and Pirates. Mm. Now, would you automatically assume the captaincy as well? Uh, that's a bit of an interesting one. Uh, mm. I don't know. Th maybe Gordon won't want to rock the boats. You know, that might uh, ruffle a few feathers with some guys that have already been there. Maybe this season he'll see how it goes. Maybe if there's an injury, maybe then he could step in. Mm. But yeah, I don't see him uh, being named out and out captain uh, right now.